Welcome in or back, everybody. I am the Dependent Fanatic, and today we're going to be talking about Michigan's rivalries. Now, most teams have a rival, uh, and most teams only have one rival. Michigan, on the other hand, has four rivals, and they all came to be in some in all different interesting ways. So here we go. Let's get started with the oldest one, Ohio State. It's called The Game, and uh, way back in 1835, there was the Toledo War, and it was a dispute over which state claimed a strip of land across the bottom of the state of Michigan and the top of the state of Ohio. It was a surveying error, and uh, it included the city of Toledo, which was a major port city back in the day on Lake Erie. Michigan gave up that strip of land uh, for the chunk of land that we now call the Upper Peninsula. So uh, I think it was a pretty good compromise there uh, for Michigan. The first game was played in 1897 in which Michigan won that game. The longest win streak is nine by Michigan but Ohio State also had a win streak of eight recently, uh, very recently. The overall record uh, for the Ohio State-Michigan game, Michigan leads the series 60 to 51 to six. Uh, I think only twice have they not had that game played and it was, one was the COVID season and one was way back, I think, uh, we played once, and then we took a three-year break uh, after the very first game ever played. All right, let's move on to the next rival, and this one's interesting as well, Minnesota. Uh, it's the battle for the little brown jug, and if you do not know the story behind that, Michigan did not trust the water that Minnesota provided Michigan's players, so they brought their own jug of water so the players can uh, have their own uh, fresh water. Michigan forgot the jug when they left that day and they wanted it back. And Minnesota said, well, if you want it back, you're going to have to come play for it. And so it was the first recorded trophy in college football. Uh, Minnesota has a, uh, Michigan has a record versus Minnesota that goes 76, 25, and 3. The longest win streak is 16 by Michigan. The largest margin of victory is 58 to zero by Michigan. All right, next up is Michigan State. Uh, Michigan State was a somewhat new institution that was granted agricultural funds by the state of Michigan. Instead of Michigan getting that, they were both vying for it and uh, that afforded uh, Michigan State to fund a good football team and join the Big Ten. They joined the Big Ten in 1948, and ever since they have been a thorn in Michigan's side, in-state conference rivals. The longest win streak is 14 games by the University of Michigan. The largest margin of victory is 119 to zero by Michigan. And the overall series record is 72, 38, and 5. Michigan leads. And now, Notre Dame. Uh, we don't play them all the time, but everyone wants these two winningest programs. They wanted them to play uh, every year. And there's been five hiatuses in this series throughout time. We are on our fifth one right now. But uh, Notre Dame is the longest win streak is eight for Michigan and the largest victories were in 2003 and 2007 which was 38 to nothing by Michigan the current streak is one uh, one game win streak and that was in 2019 we haven't played since the overall record for the Notre Dame series is 25, 17, and 1 for in favor of the University of Michigan. 
Now, Notre Dame will be back on the schedule. They are slated to play Michigan in 2033 and 2034. So in another decade, we'll see these two teams play again. But don't fret. Michigan does have some good non-conference coming up. Texas in 2024 and 2027, and Oklahoma in between them in 2025 and 2026. Both will be SEC teams at the time, <laughs> interestingly enough. And then, of course, Washington we play in 2028, right after that. These four rivals uh, are no slouch through history. Ohio State is second in the Big Ten with 41 conference titles and eight national titles claimed. Minnesota has 18 conference titles and seven national titles claimed. Michigan State has 11 conference titles and six national titles. And Notre Dame has no conference titles because they have never uh, been in a conference, but they claim 11 national championships. Now that all compares to Michigan of course, who has 44 Big Ten titles now and claims 11 national championships. So there you go. The rivalries of the University of Michigan explained. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, enjoy your beautiful weekend. It's a nice day here, uh, Friday. So happy Friday to you all and have a great day. And don't forget to like the video, please. And subscribe if you haven't. And go blue.